The Hubble booster heater comes standard with a multifunctional probe assembly that acts as your thermostat, high limit, and low water cutoff. There's going to be times where you need to replace the whole thermal well assembly and others when you can just replace the probe sensor. I'm going to show you how to differentiate between the two. First thing you want to check is your digital display for an error, no probe. If the error is present, what you want to do is check to make sure the probe is seated properly in the connector. After doing that, hit the reset button to see if the code will clear. If so, all is good and the message doesn't clear, it's time to check if there's corrosion on the connector. Remove the connector and check. There is going to be a jelly-like substance which is totally normal. What we're looking for is green corrosion. If there is no corrosion, plug it back in and move over to where the probe goes into the booster tank. If there is corrosion on the probe, it's time to replace. Point. We need to remove the probe sensor from the thermal well. This can be easily done without draining the tank with a razor blade. Take that razor blade and cut around the black shrink tubing. Just remember not to touch the silver jam nut. Once cut around that black shrink tubing, the probe easily slides out. Once you have the sensor out of the well, you'll notice that there's this white heat paste on it. This heat paste needs to be wet, not dry. If the heat paste is dry and crumbly, it's time to replace the whole probe and well assembly. If it's wet and you still have the air no probe, time to replace just the sensor.